what's up, everybody? Welcome to The Stack. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I am Pete. And today we have three Newsrama sneak reviews for you guys. Right. Supergirl number 28, Adam number 22, and The Trials of Shazam. Trials of Shazam yeah. number 12. Uh, because you guys asked for it, you wanted DC reviews, so here they are. Yeah. In your face, DC! Bam! <laughs> Uh, also, because that. you guys demanded it, a lot of you have been asking for a review of Supergirl, so here it is. What did you guys think of this issue? Uh, I didn't well, really like it that much. No. Yeah. Oh, what a because, surprise. Well, I just thought it was like, they were like, hey, here's a naive little girl who's got a dumb idea, and we're just going to play this out. <laughs> That's exactly why I liked it. Oh, Ooh. to be. Uh, Mm. Um, because they're taking, how rare is it to find an, a naive character that's well written and you get to see her going on her path? Like, so what if it's a bad choice? At least it's written in an interesting so way. So you would, uh, you would like to watch a bad choice kind of play out, even though you know what's going to happen and you know how it's No, I don't know what's going to happen. That's why, rather than her being like, you're right, I can't help this situation, and then going to sleep for the next you don't, 20 pages. You don't think that eventually she's going to be like, oh, that, that was kind of a, I'm sorry that I did that, that was dumb. She's growing up well, and learning a lesson about life. I like would say, regardless of what you think about her actions in this issue, this is probably the first time that somebody has really written Supergirl the way her character was originally Ah, touche, Zelvin. Which touché. I think is That's very nice. My point. I also like the art. I like the fact that they're mixing old school characters with new school yeah, characters. Yeah, the total like, street old competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Boombox it when, on the shoulder. <laughs> it's like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like the movie, the Super sweetest She like, breaks out the cardboard box and does a little uh, break dance. Yeah, cool. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, oh, I, I don't no. even have the energy. Tune in for the extended You're not into cut. It. Yeah. 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 I was trying to bring it back. You guys are worth my time. All right, let's move what? on and talk to Adam number 22. What did you guys think about this? It was fun. The second was cool. issue of Rick Remender's run. I love Rick Remender's work. And um, here's an, a case where the letterer, I think, really uh, supports the issue. It is reminiscent of Rick Remender's other work, which I love bringing that feel in. Wow, mm -hmm. bringing up the letter. Yeah. Huh? That doesn't yeah. happen much. Straight That's... street, bro. <laughs> uh, I like the space between the pia pianos. The pianos? pianos. <laughs> Never <Pianos>. mind. <laughs> um, How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, I would say I'm a huge fan of Remender's work. I love Fear Agent is yeah. excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, End, End League is great. I really enjoyed the second issue of that. This, it's tough for me because I loved uh, Gail Simone's run on the title. I felt yeah. like it was really original. It was very funny. Uh, it hit a multiple tones at the same time. It feels like he's writing a different character, which is my mm. current problem. So well, he's definitely maybe, taking apart a lot of what Gail said. Yeah, I mean, it's well written. It's well put together. I like uh, the plots. They yeah. follow on the plots that she set yeah. up, but... It's a little jarring for me. It's right got now. a harder edge. Yeah. Yes. You know? I think maybe that's why it didn't bother me as much as because I'm not an adamant uh, reader of the Adams. So uh, just picking <laughs> this up, kind of like, I really enjoyed the fact that there were he was juggling a lot of stuff. You know, he I juggles feel, through like the last ten pages. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. But anyways, I felt I mean, like you know it was. What you mean. Yeah. He juggles through the last yeah, ten it's pages. It's a big it's circus. A huge spoiler. Guys, spoiler. He juggles spoiler. two pianos. You can't. You can't. Oh talk no! About I'm sorry. Spoiler. It's yeah. <laughs> juggle geez. spoiler. Still by but no, I like the fact that he was dealing with a lot going on, and uh, you know, I felt like it was well done in the fact of it's not, it wasn't too much. I thought it was written in a way that was kind of appropriate. Yeah, yeah he fitted in. Would all you say pick it up? Two pages. I would. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I would say pick it up too, even though I do feel a little conflicted about the current oh. drive. It's nice that character. you can find that bigger, be a bigger man. Of <laughs> hey, I'm bigger than the Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on. Talk about yeah. Trials of Shazam number twelve. I want to start this off with a question for you guys, oh, the audience out there in Audience Land. What is your problem with Judd Winnick? Yeah, step <laughs> off our bro. Seriously, I don't want to like cause too much of a flame war or anything that we hear, but I read flame so war? much stuff on the internet, blogs, forum postings, everything, where people are, say, oh, I don't like that because Judd Winnick wrote it. Yeah. He's a good writer. Not just a good and, writer, but he's a really good writer. Yeah. Trials of Shazam, number 12, has been, great. The this whole has been series, fantastic, excellent. the whole series. So what is your problem? Wow. What's your big deal with wow, him? You he's guys, a cool guy. You I'm know what, I'm going to take their out. side here a little bit. I'm just going to say, you know what, guys? <laughs> you're going to you take know. their side. Yeah, yeah I'm like, guys, counter, I think you're overstepping this a little Thanks bit. Thanks for he's good, but he's not that good. I mean, it got a little kind of like... You know, towards the end there, and it was like a little jig. Yeah, no, no, it's a little sad. You know, sad. That's work. actually just a pull quote for the uh, front cover of the trade. Trials of Shazam is like a fiddler on the roof. Oh wow! <laughs> if you guys want to use it, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm great. just saying when you when you <laughs> Pete LePage says. 
When you have action in a comic and then afterwards it's like, you know, guys talking about their feelings and recapping it, I'm like, well, eh. Yeah, it's better. I don't know. I feel like it was earned, honestly, because you have a 12 yeah. issue maxi series, so followed by in the 12th issue. I mean, there's been a ton of action across the board. Yeah. This is the hugest action. Gigantic. The hugest action. It's, <laughs> the, if you want to use that as a pull quote, the hugest <laughs> action. <laughs> wow, great guys! I didn't know you. You're working for DC now. <laughs> We're not working for them, but we'd like to be. Oh, oh weird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? oh, what? what? Conflict did of I, interest. That's out, a conflict. Did I say that? Are you gonna write for them? Are you gonna? Yeah, I have a great pitch for a dial H for here. You have a great <laughs> pitch. <laughs> pitch. Oh, pitch. Okay. <laughs> Would you Yo, guys I've say pick great it up the trials of Shazam? Yeah, I mean, the uh, artwork is fantastic. Uh, kind of Alex Ross. I thought you were going to say Alex Albin. Buy, of course. It's Buy this reminiscent. trade. The art is very reminiscent of Alex Albin, so definitely check it out. <laughs> uh, after the break, we're going to have a speed round and get to one of your viewer questions, so stay tuned. I know, it's bad. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, God. Oh, sorry, man. Arm stick. Beat it. There's a place for us somewhere. Your love for comics doesn't have to be a secret. Go to pulpsecret.com for reviews and commentary on today's top comics. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. It is time for the speed round. Yes. Woo! The page is going to kick it off. All right. Uh, so the history of the authority, Hawksmore number one. I probably didn't say that right. No, you really but, nailed that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm awesome at reading and talking at the same time. Anyways, uh, this was a great, fantastic first issue on a character that doesn't get enough, uh, you know, screen time or panel time, if you will. Really well done. I'm so glad that they did this. Blue Beetle number 25, if you didn't pick up this series, definitely get it in trade. I can officially yeah. say now, with this last issue that John Rogers is writing, this is a classic run on the title. That's how Wow. It is. Yeah. You're saying, wow. Also, Superman number 10, uh, you're all reading this. Keep reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to tell you what to do. Uh, I'm not like the, these guys. The Cemetery Teens is a fantastic indie book. Uh, really, just the drawing is unbelievable on that. Pick it up for alone uh, for that alone. But I really like the story and where it's going. It's a solid first issue. Green Lantern number twenty nine. This is the first issue of the Secret Origins arc. Uh, I wasn't reading this title until Pete told me to. Yeah, he loves so Green Lantern. All he talks about off camera is Green Lantern. <laughs> I love Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner, la da da. Yeah, man, you know the intricacies of Kyle Rayner's origins so well. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. It's anyway, this is a really solid issue. Uh, great jumping on point because it is the origin of Hal Jordan. So pick it up. Now it's time for a viewer mail. Nick wrote in to tips at pulpsecret.com, which you guys can do too. <laughs> If you could cancel any two books from DC or bring back two, Ooh. what would they be? Ooh, well, I'll Great. start off by saying Green Lantern, done, get it out of here. <laughs> wow, oh, man. And uh, also, for no reason whatsoever. Well, what down. is your reason for yeah. canceling Green Lantern? I, I just, I'm not. Countdown. Like, Countdown, it will, you'll get your wish. Yes, yeah, it's actually self canceling itself in yeah. about four issues. Good. I just can't Dude. wait to stop counting. I'm done with the up and the down. And it's too much effort all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, all the time. What? Where are Their we Their next in the weeks? Uh, series is Alphabet. It's going yeah. to be twice oh, as long. Learning awesome. is hard. Yeah. It's hard enough reading. Followed all, by yeah. colors and <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What? Uh, why would you cancel Green Lantern? Yeah. I just, I'm not a big fan. Everybody talks about how great it is, and hey, that's great. You like what you like, yeah, and I like what I like. What don't you like about it? I, there's so much space stuff with all the different characters that they don't give enough time to, and it's uh, they focus on the lame ones. It's just, it's upsetting. It's, <laughs> all right. I, well, I can't, it's too much world. It's too much DC universe that I don't... See, this is, this is the character you put on camera, but off camera yeah, you're like Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Kyle he Ray has a power ring. Yeah, it's true. Uh, he he made this is actually, so you can tear this off and there's a Green Lantern there. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, no, we won't, you? but you can. What about you, Justin? Um, Book to bring back, I want to see Aquaman done well. Yeah, like back when Peter nice. David did it. It was Ooh. awesome. Um, Dude, books I would cancel, job. cancel Batman Detective Comics. Let's, we're done. What? Put a really? box them up. What? Go. <laughs> That's <laughs> horrible. Think about what absolute... Batman's up to. Think for a long time. Then come back with something that like, oh yeah, oh I get oh, it. Please. Batman. No. Oh. Like no. the inside out Batman. That's just my pitch. Something. Go with it. Yeah, great. Uh, I would say, actually, on a similar tact, cancel Batman Superman. Okay. Uh, the team up title, but yeah. it started off great. It started off great. It was really enjoyable. Jeff Loeb's line yeah. was, for the most part, 
enjoyable, but it's totally <laughs> unnecessary right now. It's, weird. it's not We've affecting got... anything that happens in the main universe. Mm -hmm. And more than that, they're launching Trinity in a couple of weeks, right. and that's Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Yeah. The other thing that I would say bring back is Manhunter, which oh. they are bringing back. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm Your wish came really true. You guys it. both got Pick wishes. it up in trades. Manhunter, uh, best run on a DC title since Starman. What? Whoa, oh, Starman. That's, that's, that's a great statement. Statement. <laughs> book. That's a great idea. <laughs> uh, if you guys have a question, call us at 888-841-7549. Or write it to tips at pulpsecret.com. And as always, comment right here below the video. We will see you guys next time. Below. Starman! <laughs> Leave a message. We'll get back to you. I really like to see uh, Firestorm back. I love that series. Next wave, next wave, next wave, next wave, next wave, next wave! I'd love to see the Guardians of the Galaxy come back. I don't know about this new incarnation of the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'd love to see the Jim Valentino 1990 Guardians of the Galaxy that are set thousand years in the future.